1974, Osaka, Japan. A child named Yuji Naka is enthralled, in fact, obsessed with speed. Meanwhile, a young Naoto Oshima is captivated by every move, every image of the Western superhero. The two will one day join fascinations to change the world of video games, armed only with a blue insectivore in red shoes. This is the story of Sonic the Hedgehog. Nineteen eighty eight. For three years now, the mission of pretty much every game console maker in the world has been the same defeat Nintendo. Nobody can even come close. What will the future bring from Nintendo? The eight bit Nintendo Entertainment System dominates the world market with a ninety percent share. Sega tries to topple the eight hundred pound gorilla by releasing a sixteen bit console called Mega Drive in Japan and Europe and Genesis in the US. Despite a blistering fast microprocessor and some edgy commercials, Sega! there's just no shaking Nintendo's stranglehold. Sega! Sega! In the U.S., one household out of every four buys an NES, falling in love with its chubby little plumber, Mario. 1989, Sega Top Brass wants to boast its console's processing speed by creating a character and game much quicker than Mario. There was a big movement campaign to create Sega's uh, a mascot icon. And it was a company-wide effort that everyone could submit their ideas. And there were about 200 drawings or different characters submitted. A ton of cool pitches come in. There's a rabbit, followed by some other interesting calls, like an armadillo and a bear. Enter an idea from the superhero-inspired mind of illustrator Naoto Oshima. His crafty creature is a hedgehog with Sega blue skin named Mr. Needlemouse. The spiny mammal could ball up and use his body as a weapon. He's cute but cool, noble and helpful with a little attitude to boot. I actually wrote a proposal and showed it to my boss and told him this is a game I want to make. It was just a character that runs fast and runs in loops. So when I told my boss, he said, the person who can make a game like this is Yuji Naka. Charismatic programmer Yuji Naka has already created a handful of moderately successful Sega games. He kicks off his next project, harnessing his lifelong love for speed to create a game like no other. I liken this to Super Mario Brothers that I had played many, many times. To play Mario from this point to this point took 30 seconds, but if I can go through the same place in 10 seconds, your skill increases. My desire was to play games much faster and have a better sense of accomplishment. Naka's fast as heck program lacks one vital element, a character. Oshima shows Naka drawings of Mr. Needlemouse and explains his unlikely muses. At the time, Michael Jackson released Bad, and his boots had a belt on it, and I thought it was really cool. But color-wise, a black boot is kind of boring, so I thought of the most famous character in the world, Santa Claus, and I took his color to make Michael Jackson's boots for Sonic. Mr. Needlemouse's get it done now attitude is taken straight from Capitol Hill. If there was a problem, Bill Clinton took action right away. I saw that American attitude on TV. That was the kind of character I wanted to make. After a few character tweaks, the most significant of which is a name change, Sega's hopeful savior is born, Sonic the Hedgehog. That was the most exciting moment for me. It made me think, wow, this is a great game. Everyone's going to be so surprised. Surprised is one way to describe Sega's reaction to Sonic. Many from the anxious stateside management are miffed. Remember, at this time, most Americans have never heard of a hedgehog. People in the U.S. said, what the heck, you know, what is the hedgehog? It was perceived very strangely. That combined with very Japanese style, uh, big cute eyes and that kind of thing, put people off initially. 
The struggling game company's challenge is clear. How do you make an odd blue insectivore defeat the hottest franchise in video game history? It won't be easy, but if they can make it work, video games will certainly never be the same.